Hey guys, hope you are doing fine. In this video, I'm going to tell you how you can create your first Android app in 2021. So learning how to make an Android app isn't easy if you want to build one from scratch. You, you have to develop an understanding of code which can be time consuming. And uh, the good news is there are plenty of resources available online that can help. These materials make it possible to learn how to build an Android app on your own. So if you're dedicated, you can gain the essential skill in just a few months. So in this video, I'm going to guide you through the app creation process. So I have included links to the most helpful resources available for learning to code and learning Android development. So, so do you need to learn to code? You need to learn to code if you want to build an app from scratch. If you don't want to learn to code, you can use an app builder to create an based on templates so in the first part of the video i'll focus on how you can quit uh, learn the basics required to code your first app so and uh, at the end part of this video i will show you how you can create an android app using our drag and drop platform so with our app builder you can build a mobile app in just few hours i guess it's a perfect choice for people who don't have time to learn a programming language so before using time let's get started so there are two steps to learn how to create an Android app from scratch. So you need to learn the language used to code apps. Then you need to learn uh, how to use this information to build an app. So Android apps are built using Java or Kotlin, while Kotlin is the official Android language. So I'm gonna primarily focus on learning Java as it's more widely used. So we, so I'm gonna dig further detail about why I made this choice later in this video. So what is Java? So Java is a general prog purpose programming language used to create a software on a variety of platforms. So it's one of the most popular programming language. So uh, by learning it, you will be gain a valuable skill actually. So you can use Java to build Android apps, web application, Windows desktop app, Linux desktop app, Mac desktop app, so there are plenty of online courses that uh, teach you the basics of Java. So we we like those. Uh, I like those. I personally like those provided by Coursera and Treehouse, as they both start with a basic Java course before teaching you more about building an Android app. This is structure to the learning process and keeps pushing you towards your goal of building a mobile app. So Treehouse's beginning Android program starts with a Java basic code that teach you how to code in Java. So it then goes on by to the T teach the basics of Android development. By the end of this video, you will know how to create a simple app. So, so second, we talk about we will talk about Coursera. It's a highly rated Android development specialization course and provided by Vanderbilt University. It is designed for people with no prior knowledge and go through the various stages of learning how to build an Android app and starting and uh, learning Java. So the downside is that you have to pay for both of these courses. However, there are some free courses you can still use to learn Java. Java. So here are a few of them. So there is Udemy, there is Code Academy, there is Stanford University Program Methodology course. That is Java, although it's a bit uh, little dated. So now you may be wondering, what about Kotlin? So in 2017, Google changed the official language for building Android apps to Kotlin. This is a new programming language that is described as more streamlined version of Java. That this is the question of whether someone who wants to create an Android app should forget about learning Java and study Kotlin instead. So this most current advice suggests that if you are a complete beginner, you should stick to Java because it's more established language. This means that there are a lot more resources and help available. For example, Android learning courses we have linked above. Uh, start with the section of, of learning Java, not Kotlin. So if you want to more information about why learning Java is one of the best choice for most new Android developers, you have to accept it because Kotlin is, uh, I would recommend Java before Kotlin. So, so let's talk about learning Android development. So once you know the basics of Java, you can move on learning how to use this knowledge to develop Android app. So the Treehouse and Coursera courses listed that I mentioned uh, will teach you about the basics of Android app development following the sections on Java. So however, they are not available. So Google has you know produced a guide that shows you how to build a simple mobile app that displays Hello World using Android Studio. It also teaches you how to test your app and build a user interface and uh, it's pretty pretty basic stuff but 
crucial to know if you are new to app to development or Udacity, Udacity has a free code that's recommended by Google called developing Android app. It combines theory and practical tips to help you create a first app. So the essential Android development flows. Now here comes the main thing, which is Android Studio. So when building Android app, you will need to download Android Studio. This is the official integrated development environment IDE for Android. And it was developed specifically for creating apps on the mobile OS. So the developer development environment has a ton of features that simplify creating Android apps. It's, uh, it has an easy to read and user interface with a code editor, a previous section that reflects your change to make the, as you make them. And plenty of templates and sample apps is also integrated with GitHub, it's a good thing. So you can download Android Studio for free and uh, on the Android developers website. So Google has also created a vast resources for learning how to use Android Studio. You can check it out on Google. So the this contains best practices and list of core topics that cover everything you need to build an app. So hope you got some basic knowledge about creating an Android app. So thank you so much for watching this video. Have a nice